Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today I have for you my weighing update. Finally, she says. <laughs> it feels like it's been weeks since I've done an update when actually in reality it has. <laughs> because looking at my, I'm just looking at my Slimming World book here. Looking back, the last time I did do a weighing update was around about the 23rd of January. So yeah, it has been a couple of weeks. I've weighed in twice since then. So if you are new here, my name's Andrea. I'm a mum of four. I've got my hubby as well. We live in Lancashire and I am attempting to lose weight following the Slimming World plan. I have been on this journey many, many times. Um, for one reason or another, I've not succeeded in getting to target yet. In the past few years, it's because babies have got in the way and I've had an additional two children. So I've got like I say, I've got four children. I've got Kieran, who will be 15 in June. I've got Alyssa, who's just turned 12. And then I've got Alana, who will be three in March. And then Kobe, who is one year old. Well, he's 15 month old now, which I cannot believe at all because it feels like it was yesterday that I gave birth to him. So yeah, the last two children I had in quite quick succession. So that's why I've I've not managed to basically get to target. They are a lot to blame of it. And I am going to use them as a as a blame game. Because <laughs> I'm just going to use that and run with it. Um, but yeah, this last year, I did rejoin Slimming World at, you know, in January of last year of 2022. With all intentions of losing the weight once and for all. Like I've got intentions like that sat here right now. But unfortunately, I just didn't give my head enough of a wobble. I didn't stick to it like I definitely should have done. And I did lose two and a half stone last year, but then over summer and then we had a death in the family. And, um, you know, through that and birthdays and then other celebrations and then Christmas, I proceeded to put all that weight back on, which is very easy for me. I only have to look a chocolate milkshake and my ass will wiggle for a week so yeah it's so easy for me to put on weight I don't struggle too bad losing it either I wouldn't say like I'm one of those people that drop it really quickly initially I might do but then it does slow down quite considerably and I think that's where my downfall is because I can start the race running like proper sprinting when it comes after a, you know, a stone and a half, two stone, and then it really slows down, that's when the momentum for losing weight slows down for myself, my motivation, my own personal motivation. And I can tend to slip off quite easy because I, I get the little negative Nancy in the back of my head that's going, oh, it's not working anymore. You need to try something different. What's the point in trying? It's not even, you know, I get every single excuse in the back of my head just trying to convince me not to keep going on. And last year, unfortunately, you know, like I said, negative Nancy, she won the race last year. However, this year I've packed her bags and I've told her to do one because I am not listening to her anymore. I am losing the weight this year. It's happening because I've made a vow with myself. It came around, the new year's come around. Not that I do resolutions or anything like that because I always break them <laughs> basically so what's the point in doing them but I'm determined that I either I have made a pact with myself that I either get to target this year or I just learn to love the body that I'm in you know it's had four babies it's seen me all the way through these years it's still working touch wood <laughs> you know um that I've just got to learn to love it basically and not be so hard on myself however I'm not comfortable this way I've not been this way all my life I've only been this way you know probably yeah since not even since I've ha been having children because I put on quite a bit of weight with Kieran and Alyssa and then I've had a, a large gap and then I did manage to lose like four stone and I was a lot more comfortable back then and then it's when I've had the little A's and stuff like that that I've I've put the weight back on and then some so yeah definitely not comfortable at the moment so really me having that packed for myself is kind of a bit of a moo point 
because I'm not comfortable like this. So I do, I've got no choice but to lose the weight. So I have, I've sat down, I've thought about it. I've done a little bit of a plan with myself of how to motivate myself and keep myself on track. And I've decided that ultimately I need to enjoy the journey that I'm on because like anything in life, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, are you going to stick with it? No, ultimately you're not. You're going to have every excuse in the world to get out of it, basically. And I am very easy of giving myself excuses and giving myself a pass if I can do. So I've decided that I need to enjoy the journey. This hopefully, again, touch wood, I'm touching the cot because it's in front of me, Kobe's cot. Um, this journey is hopefully going to be the last time that I'm on it from, you know, needing to lose six stone to get down to my target weight. So I've decided just to enjoy it because I'm not going to be doing it again. Once I get to target, then I'll have a new journey, which will be maintaining my weight, which I've got a few plans of what I'm going to do when I do get to target. Um, but obviously I'll talk about those when I get closer to it because... There's no point in me talking about it now because I'll just get all giddy of getting to target like it's, you know, a stone away and it's not. I've got such a hill to climb yet before I'm even on that road to the finish line. So I will talk about my plans of maintaining my weight when I get closer to it. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm doing the Slimming World plan. I've tried other diets in the past and they just don't fit with me for, again, for one reason or another. A lot of the time it's because I can't do certain plans, having a family, a large family, calorie counting for example, I can't do that because a lot of the times I was finding I had to make my food separate because, you know, for example, pasta on NutriCheck, it'd have either dry weight or um, cooked weight, depending on the brand, it'd only have one or the other. So I'd sometimes have to portion mine out before cooking and I'll portion it out after cooking. Whereas with Slimming World, I have found that I can just make a meal and as long as it fits in the plan and it's all, you know, speed food, free food, healthy extras, etc., then I don't really have to count anything apart from like healthy extras and stuff. So yeah, basically, long story short, it just fits in easier. I know the plan like the back of my hand, which I know you can become a bit complacent then and old habits can sneak in or, you know, pitfalls. You could find pitfalls. But again, this is one of the things that I've give my head a bit of a wobble about and I'm trying not to do. I'm trying not to become complacent. I'm weighing my um, healthy extras. I'm measuring my milk. I'm doing what it says on the tin this time which last year I didn't. I thought, nah, I know the diet. You know, I could I could be a consultant, a Slimming World consultant. I know it that well. I never would be, but I could because I know it literally like the back of my hand. Sorry about that. That was one of the kids disturbing me. So where did I get to? So yeah, so I've thought, no, I'm not going to become complacent. I'm going to do what it says on the tin. And then hopefully come the end of the year, I'll be at Target. In order for me to get to target, I just need to lose one and a half pounds on average a week and then that'll be six stone in the year. So that's what I'm hoping for. Obviously, some weeks I'll lose more than one and a half pounds. Some weeks I might maintain and some weeks I might even gain depending on what's gone on that week. Um, but I'm hoping that on average when you know you calculate it out, it'll balance out and that I'll end up hitting that goal of one and a half pounds a week and I'll get to target by the end of the year or if I'm not at target by the end of the year that I'm really close to it okay so I'm not even saying that I have to be at target by the end of the year like on the nose but as long as I know that I'm within a stone away from it I'll be very very happy and all my Christmas wishes will have come true um, because to me to be only a stone away from target just seems like such a massive achievement because I've got six stone to lose that to just be a stone a whole 14 pounds and I know for some people that's all they've got to lose but to have all the you know the other five stone to go as well to be just that 14 pound away from my target just seems 
amazing already. Um, and see, that's why I can't talk about what I'm going to do when I get to target because I'm already feeling giddy about being a stone away from my target, let alone hitting my target. So yeah, I need to like cool it. <laughs> so I'm doing the Slimming World plan. I'm going to do what it says on the tin and I'm sticking with it. I've been buying countdowns. I've bought a six week countdown at the beginning because um, it came with one of, I mean, I was buying the countdown anyway, but I only did the six week one and not the 12 week one because it came with a free um, cookbook. I've been smashing the recipes out of that cookbook as well, trying again to keep things varied, new meals, because last year, again, I fell into a rut eating the same stuff week in, week out, and I got bored as hell. And again, that makes me, I'm saying again a lot, so I apologise, um, that makes me reach for other things. So I don't want to be doing that this year. So I am trying new recipes, varying it up eating different things. One of the things that I am continuing to do, like I have done in the past always, and if you've been following me for a while, it's very, you know, staple Andrea's meals, is that half a plate full of salad a lot of the time. You know, a curry with a salad, I'm not bothered. I love salad. I'll throw it on anything. And you can look at my meals and think, wow, she's eating a lot there. Um, which, yeah, I do have a rather large appetite. I tend not to snack. I tend to just have quite big, bulky meals. But my philosophy is, is that if I didn't fill that half a plate up with the speed food, then I'd fill it up with either more free food or I'd start filling it up with sins, basically. So, yeah, I do have quite large salads going on pretty much everything and it's just the way that I find it the easiest to get that speed food in and basically reduce the amount of free food or sins that I'm actually eating in that meal so yeah I'm going to continue doing that so that's something that is definitely staying I'm making sure I'm drinking more I'm making sure I'm moving more so yeah I'm just going to basically enjoy it I'm going to keep trying new foods keep trying new recipes, enjoy that journey of it, um, finding new things with Slimming World, you know, new treats, um, new, just new everything, basically, um, even going out for walks and stuff, going for new walks in different places, doing new activities for body magic, drinking new drinks to keep that hydration up, I'm just doing everything as new as I possibly can to make it really enjoyable because if I give it my 100% this year and then I look back at the end of the year I'll, I'll hopefully be a completely different person with a different mindset because regardless this year is going to happen it's going to happen it's going to come Christmas one way or another whether I partake in it properly or whether I don't so which version of me do I want? Do I want the version of me that is fatter and unhappier? Or do I want the version of me that is either at target or very close to target and a million times happier? That's the one that I want. Of course, that's the one that I want. So this year is happening. Regardless, it is happening. And I'm going to fully embrace myself in it and give it everything that I've got and that's all that every time I have a little bit of a wobble and I start thinking like oh really can't be bothered today I just wanna whatever it is I just wanna and I remind I stop myself and I remind myself like look come on this is just one day in 365 days of it so pull your socks up crack on because when it gets to that end of it you want to be that person and I'm, that's all that I do. I just keep reminding myself like that. So if anyone else is out there that struggles like I do and that, you know, you're your own worst enemy, just take a step back and just remind yourself like, look, this year is happening with or without me. So let's give it 100% and go for it. Every day, just go for it, but just take it one day at a time, but give it 100% that day as much as you can. And yeah, life things are going to happen, stuff's going to crop up, you're not going to have the best days, your mood's going to be out, you're going to be celebrating, you know, it could be anything. But 
always just get straight back onto it, whatever plan you're following. It might not even be Slimming World, it might be Keto, it might be Weight Watchers, it might be Calorie Counting, whatever it is that you're doing. Just give yourself that little leniency and then straight back on it. Don't make excuses for day after day after day after day after day, which again, holding my hand up, number one worst for it. Like I've said, I will give myself a red card every single time in the game of dieting to cop myself out. I will, but no more. Anyway, that, this is meant to be a way update and it's turned into a bit of a rant about myself um, and about what I'm going to do. But I'm hoping that other people can relate and sympathise and understand and maybe be in the same boat and we can all just jump on together and it might just help someone else because it's taken me a long time of thinking to get to this point for the dots to finally match up and the jigsaw puzzles to click together. It has taken me a long time to get here and have this realisation. So if it helps someone else get there a little bit quicker than what it took me, then happy days. It's, it's what I want because we need to be happy, don't we? So anyway, getting back to Slimming World. I'm, because it's been a little while since I've done a weighing update, I'll just refresh. For anybody that might be new here or if you've forgotten the million years ago that I posted my last vlog, I'll just start from the beginning. But don't worry, it's not going to take too long, I promise. Not like I've already waffled. So I rejoined group at the beginning of this year. Blah, blah, blah. Get my words out. Beginning of this year, I joined on the 16th of January and I weighed in at a colossal 16 stone, six pounds which isn't the heaviest I've ever been, but it was heavier than what I was last year of January. I think I was 16 stone three last January and I was only a couple of months off of giving birth. So you can see self-sabotage 100%. So yeah, 16 stone six on the 16th of January. I had my first weigh-in on the 23rd of January, which were, again, it's always a Monday. I don't go to any other group and I'd lost six and a half pound, which I was ridiculously happy about. I was over the moon. I understand a lot of that will be water weight, you know, with the initial shock of your body losing the weight. But obviously a lot of that will have been fat as well. So happy days, six and a half pound. Got to admit, teeny, teeny, teeny bit gutted that it wasn't seven pound. And then I'd have got my half stone award. But I went into that following week. 100% thinking as long as I lose that half a pound then I'm getting that half a stone award which is what I was aiming for and normally I'll have a really good initial weight loss and then it won't be quite as good after but I was very happy I went back to group on the 30th Monday the 30th and I'd managed to lose another three and a half pound so again ridiculously happy couldn't believe it I'd had another good week on plan don't get me wrong not being 100% saint, again, I'm not saying that I, I've not stuck to plan. Of course, I stuck to plan. But I mean, when I say a saint, it's not like I've had sin free days. I didn't. I've used all my sins and I went up to the full 15 and everything like that. So I've done what it said on the tin. I've used my sins and I've stuck with a plan. And I got three and a half pound off, which again, over the moon. So that meant that on the 30th, I was up to... Um, £10 weight loss, I managed to get my half stone award, yay, hopefully the last ever certificate of half a stone I will ever do again, she says, and I managed to get Slimmer of the Week that week as well, so got Slimmer of the Week, if you're new here, Slimmer of the Week is the one that um, loses or maintains the highest percentage of weight loss over two weeks consecutively. And you get a sticker, you get your certificate, and then you also get a basket full of goodies that everybody contributes in every week. So yeah, really, really, really happy that that was the case. So that was obviously the 30th, which meant then that I was finishing January on a £10 weight loss. So tick to that half a pound a week um, average. I'm on track so far. In fact, if anything, I've got a few pounds to play with still because after four weeks, that should be, what, three, six, six pounds. Um, yeah, I can't even add up anymore. My brain stopped working as usual. But yeah, so every month it should be around about six pounds. Um, 
well every four weeks because some months obviously you'll have five weeks in water yeah, so that's where it won't work out but yeah every four weeks six pounds loss um so then i've gone to group on monday just gone so that would have been the six is it the sixth of the second i can't tell her writing yeah it will have been the sixth will it because of what date we're on today <laughs> so the sixth of the second i went again on monday thinking there's no chance i'm getting another weight loss this week i'm probably only gonna have like half a pound maybe a maintain not again that because I've not stuck to plan, because I had, I've stuck to plan, I've done what it said on the tin, I've used my sins, I've enjoyed myself, I've had loads of yummy meals, I've um, eaten different foods, I've made loads of different recipes and stuff like that, so again, I'm enjoying it, I'm making sure I'm enjoying it, I'm going to enjoy it, <laughs> she says, <laughs> um, and I stepped on the scales on Monday, just gone, and I managed to lose another two pound, so yeah, not three and a half pound, but two pound, amazing, because if you lose two pound every week, then that's eight stone in a year, and luckily, I don't have eight stone to lose, so yeah, over the moon once again that I've managed to do a decent number, so that means in three weigh-ins, I've lost 12 pound, I've got another two pound to go, and then that'll be my one stone award, which I'm keeping everything crossed that I managed to get that for this Monday. However, I'm under no illusion that I probably won't. Again, not that I'm not sticking to plan because I am doing, but I, I can see maybe me losing one pound, maybe half a pound coming up because I can't see myself losing another two pound. So if I do get two pound on Monday... I think I might do backflips, <laughs> but if I don't, body magic, but if I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up about it because realistically, for me to get another two pound, you know, a stone in four weeks is a lot of weight to lose, even for me, and I know I've got a lot of weight to lose, but it's a lot of weight to lose, so if I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, it's absolutely fine, I'll just do it as and when because like I say I'm definitely in credit with how much weight I've got to lose um that I can afford to have like a only a pound loss on a, a certain week or half a pound or even a maintain I can still afford to do that and be with my ha one and a half pound average so yeah that's where I'm sitting at so I'm currently 15 stone and eight pounds so obviously I've dropped fully into that next stone bracket which I'm really happy about because I didn't like seeing 16 on the scale and now I'm not. I'm full on into the 15s. I'm comfortably into the 15s. So yeah, onwards and upwards and hopefully it's another good week. Today's Friday. The kids have broke up from school. I'm not going to let the school holidays affect me. Um, I'm at work on Wednesday, so that's absolutely fine. I'm doing a long day. I do a 12 and a half hour shift Um so I'm at work on Wednesday. I find it really easy sticking to plan when I'm at work. So again, that's not going to be the issue at all. Um, on Saturday this weekend, though, I mean, Wednesday I'm talking about next week. But on um, Saturday this week, tomorrow, in fact, um, Alyssa's got a sleepover with some of her friends. Um, but again, that's not going to bother me. She's asked for homemade pizzas. She wants wrap pizzas which is really easy to do, super quick and easy, and I can be part of it because I do active fried chips, big salad, and then I do pizzas on wraps, and I just use my um, Weight Watchers ones for those, so it's not like I'm going to be missing out. I can hear Corby shouting at the bottom of the stairs. Don't worry, he's with my hubby and everyone, so he's nice and safe. So yeah, that's my plans going forward. Sorry about that, being summoned by the children once again, honestly, never a dull moment. Um, and also, I'd just like to apologise, I just had to watch back a little bit of the video to see what point I was up to. And I look like Krusty the Clown, basically, with everything stuck up. And the lighting is completely shocking, but that's because I've nipped upstairs and I was just trying to do it in some sort of peace and quiet, which basically never happens in this house. So yeah, as I was saying before, I've bought another top-up, a 12-week one, because again, it comes with a free... 
um, recipe book just as an add-on to go on to my six week countdown when that runs out. So it basically means I'm committed, I've paid in advance, I know it's cheaper which is good and you get freebies usually in it but I've paid in advance just to make sure that I'm not ducking and diving and I'm not trying to escape these weigh-ins and it's just that something else that I'm doing that's new because I never used to buy countdowns in the past, never. I'd pay week by week so I would always have that get out clause that I could just not go to group because I wasn't paying for it. So it's fine if I had a bad week, it was fine. Whereas this time I am not giving myself that excuse. So I've paid for it in advance. So I am going to that group, which I know knowing that it keeps me more on track because I don't want to waste my money. I don't like wasting anything. I especially don't like wasting my money. Not when I have such a large family and I know where that money could have been spent elsewhere. So yeah which I'm happy to spend the money because I know that my family are only going to benefit by hopefully having the mum round longer, again, touch wood, and have a happier, healthier mum and hopefully setting a good example for the kids as well about, you know, really looking at your nutrition and being the healthiest version of yourself that you can be. So yeah, it is a good investment as well. That's why another reason why I'm not going to waste the money by not going and copping out because I'll be taking it out of them if, if I'm just wasting it out of basically because I'm not putting it into myself and we're not spending it on us. So yeah, even another reason why I am definitely going to group. But anyway, I think I've rambled enough there. I've definitely caught up with the fact that I should have put two other vlogs out now. I think this is enough <laughs> for those times. I have got a shopping haul due to come out um that I'm going to try and put out tomorrow I've already filmed it I just need to edit it and then I have been filming my meals that I've been having just my evening ones because again breakfast sometimes I have it sometimes I don't lunches are usually somewhat quick and boring like you know soup salad jacket potato etc it's normally very repetitive very samey but dinners are the really interesting ones so I've filmed them again of what I've had, I just got to edit and voice over those because again, madhouse, <laughs> it's impossible to actually talk at meal times for the noise levels that there is when everybody's ex you know like excited being fed. <laughs> it's like I live in a zoo. It is like I live in a zoo. It really is, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So anyway, I'm gonna love you, leave you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, if you could, that would be amazing because it really does help my channel and help it grow. Um, I'll try and get these other vlogs out as soon as possible. I'll hopefully get one out tomorrow and then one out the day after and then I'll be caught up. And then when I go to group on Monday, even if I have to vlog from the car in the peace and quiet, of my weighing results I'll do that if I have to so that again I can keep up to date without the noise of the house and stuff um so yeah if you can subscribe that would be amazing and let's see if I've managed to get to target by the end of this year because it's going to be an interesting journey for sure lots of trials and tribulations apologies I've not got my pictures up or my sizes but again I just snapped at this chance so I'll try and do it for the next one, uh, the next one next week. I'll try and edit it, them in. But I just want to get this out there because I'm very conscious that it's been a little while since I've done a weigh update. And yeah, I will speak to you in the next one. So take care of yourselves. Hope to see you next time. Bye.